Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Fruitful Vine podcast. I'm here with my pastor, Pastor Joel Urshan. Pastor, how's your day been so far? Blessed. Amen. We're doing well. Yeah. Pastor Urshan is uh, home. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm glad to be home. Welcome back to the States. Welcome back to uh, Cincinnati and Ohio and uh, and home. Home is where the mortgage is. <laughs> That's what I always say. So well, welcome back. Welcome home. Yes. Uh, you were on extended uh, trip. Correct. Uh, in the southern part of Africa. The- yes. Yes, we were in South Africa uh, for a crusade in Durban, South Africa. Yeah. And then we were in Antananarivo, Madagascar, and for another crusade. And both were just outstanding uh, experiences and mighty moves of God. I'm going to be talking more about that, um, I believe, in next week's podcast. So yeah. I'm excited to share. Yeah. It was a great experience. It's, it would be very hard to, to boil down and distill down all that time into uh, one episode. But we're going to try. Yeah. Going to try to devote a whole episode to um, just letting you tell us what all the good things that happened yeah. in South Africa and uh, Madagascar. I didn't go to where you went, so I didn't learn how to correctly pronounce it. I'm oh, gonna, yes. I'm going to hand that one. I'm going to hand that one off to you. Yes. I, well, and and I did not know how to pronounce it until yeah. I listened very carefully yeah. to the the way it was pronounced correctly, but um there were uh, several variations that led us to the correct pronunciation of Antananarivo. There you go. Beautiful city, beautiful people, great amazing country. And uh, it was a, it was a blessing to be there. Yeah. I know it was it was a blessing for us, even as Tree of Life Church, just to kind of watch you go, and you know we felt like a part of us went. You know our pastor went, was a part of a crusade, and and uh, it was cool. Just just a body of Christ, Amen. And fun to experience that. Well, today's episode um, it may the title may look a lot like last week's episode, Thanksgiving, <clears throat> giving thanks. Um, but this episode is coming out the week of Thanksgiving, right? And uh, and we want to make sure that we don't. Um, put Thanksgiving into a box oh, yeah. of that, that, that fourth Thursday in November right. and forget that it's actually a way that we're supposed to live. Uh, so um, Pastor Brian and Duvall sat yes. in last week, Yes, uh, sat in here on the Fruitful Vine, and we talked about uh, giving thanks, and it's something he's passionate about, and he For shared sure. some great things. But uh, we'd like to get into uh, some deeper discussions of Thanksgiving today. So uh, would you just would you kind of begin our conversation today on Thanksgiving? Oh my goodness! Yeah, it's um, in everything. Give thanks, yeah. for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And I find it interesting that so many times people are, you know, we we ask the question a lot: What is the will of God? Uh, how do I know the will of God? And I love the this is that statements of the Bible. Um, Of course, that's a reference from the day of Pentecost message by the Apostle Peter. Mm -hmm. This is that. And there are many uh, this is that statements. The fruitful vine is based on the this is that statement of the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, etc. And so this scripture, 1 Thessalonians 5.18 is a this is that scripture. Mm -hmm. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So I have found, and and I I think this is important to remember, that when you're you're struggling to understand what is the will of God, when you're you're seeking the will of God in your life, um, you can know from the scriptures that the will of God is to give thanks. In everything. In everything. And, and and that doesn't necessarily mean that you are, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have this, you know, a, a gratitude for uh, bad things yeah. that happen. But you are willing, even in a bad experience, to give thanks to God for something. Um. Because in everything you can give thanks, and and that's going to provide clarity. That's going to provide perspective. Um, I, I I like to uh, I like to I like to talk about the perspective that Thanksgiving gives. Yeah. 
when you're focused on the negative, uh, that's going to influence the way that you view things. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving forces your mind to the positive, and there's so much positive to talk about. Give thanks for something. Yeah. In everything, give thanks for something. Um, if your if your legs work well, give God thanks for that. Yeah. Um, you know, when you see somebody who's who doesn't have that capacity, it, it's a it's a real eye opener. Mm-hmm. Um, give thanks for something. If your if your if your heart is beating, if your lungs are breathing, this is actually why the psalmist David said, "Let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord," because because that's a reason to give God thanks. Yeah, yeah. That's a reason to give God thanks. You've got a reason to be thankful. If if you can't think of anything, thank God for the blood. Mm-hmm. Thank God for the redemptive work of Calvary. And uh, so you've got a reason to give God thanks. So the scripture teaches us in everything, give thanks. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's, you know, we talked about the power of words. And I think there's a reason that the scripture doesn't say uh, about everything give thanks right or for everything yeah, yeah it says it says in it right so right. we 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 flip back the book to old job oh yes and about those things maybe he's not giving thanks for for the calamity that's surrounding him right but but in that in it yeah give thanks for right. that's the will of Christ Jesus yeah that's the will of God in in Christ Jesus Christ Jesus concerning you exactly if you can't give thanks about the thing you can give you can still give thanks for something in the middle of that thing absolutely yeah and and it lifts you yeah thanksgiving lifts you so um that 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 concept of entering into his gates with thanksgiving yeah and and thanksgiving actually materializes his presence so that's even a segue into prayer yeah you know sometimes the challenge people have with prayer is that it's hard to go from just um, trying to um, live life and do the mundane activities and take care of this and that, and then okay, now I'm supposed to pray. So how do you how do you transition into a spiritual frame of mind? Well, the the key is to pray without ceasing. Yeah, the key is to rejoice evermore. This is First Thessalonians this is all, five. It's all in that same passage, right before exactly. you get to that. Right. Notice the continuity that that's trying to instill in right. us. Pray without ceasing. Rejoice evermore. In everything, give thanks. This isn't this isn't the fourth Thursday of November <laughs> that this is relegated to. It's everything. It's everything. It's without ceasing. It's evermore, and. And this is the this is the way that that, that Thanksgiving it, it lifts you it it materializes the presence of God and it becomes a good segue into prayer. If you're having trouble, uh, you know, paying bills one minute, and then and then praying prophetic prayers the next minute. Yeah, Thanksgiving is the is the way. You just begin to thank God, Lord. I thank you for. I thank you for this roof over my head right now. I thank you for the health I have in my body. And and if you don't have those two things, thank him for something you do have yeah. or something that he has given you. And thank him for things that haven't materialized yet. Mm-hmm. You know, it, thank him. I, I call it prophetic praise. Thank him in advance yeah. for what you know he is bringing to pass in your life. Uh, one of the great miracles of Jesus was the miracle of the loaves and the fishes, as the Bible would say. The fishes, you know, we don't really use the word fishes, but that's what the King James says. We've got to say fishes. So I'm kind of partial to yeah. <laughs> fishes. But the loaves and the fish or the loaves and the fishes, Jesus receives this. Now, he's got thousands of people to feed. And while he's preparing to feed them, he, he says, do we have any meat? Have you here any meat? And the the lad famously brings to him the the loaves and the fishes. Well, it's not enough. It's he's got thousands. Mm-hmm. It's not enough to feed um, the number of people that are present, and yet that's all he had. So I wonder what our reaction would be to that. If 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 we need substantial provision, 
because we have thousands of people that are waiting. And we're given a meager deposit of five loaves and two fish. Would we have the same reaction to Jesus as Jesus? Because here's what Jesus did versus what we may do. I, I could imagine us being in that same position and us saying, okay, get serious. Yeah. I've got 4,000 plus yeah. women and children. For yeah. you. And then when it was seven loaves, I've got 5,000 plus women and children. Yeah. And I, I need more than this. Don't bring me this. Just we need, a, we need a real solution here. And it's not what Jesus did. Jesus said, the Bible says the first thing, he gave thanks. Don't skip over that. That wasn't him folding his hands and saying, God is great, God is good, let us thank him for this food. No, he was thankful that somebody had something to offer. And the next thing, as he blesses it, he breaks it, it begins to multiply. That's a spiritual principle. Thanksgiving for what you have allows what you have to multiply. Yeah. And so don't wait until you have everything you need to start praising God. Thank him for what you have right now and and watch what you have right now begin to multiply. Yeah. Just it'll it'll multiply hand over fist if you're thankful. If you have gratitude for the provision that God has given you. Um as just as just as great as Thanksgiving is, and we've talked about it causing the presence of God to materialize, mm-hmm. and we've talked about it as being a a a, a way, almost a, a gateway. It's a gateway into the presence of God. Yeah. But just as great as it is, uh, and to the same extent, unthankfulness is toxic. Yeah. To not be thankful is as as toxic as being thankful is beautiful. Mm-hmm. And so I you know I had this experience it wasn't long ago as as we were coming into this new building. And I I was, you know, coming into a new building and and all that has gone into that. I mean it's a 10 year process. Yeah. And it's we're working on it and there's a lot that goes into it. And as we're coming down to the wire and we're, we're, we're about to enter the new building, I really became kind of accidentally focused on the, uh, just on the pressure of it and the challenge of it mm-hmm. and all of the things that needed to be done right and fixed and, and this and that. And all of it had to kind of come together, you know, perfectly for lack of a better word or so I thought yeah and I, I I found myself without meaning to I found myself kind of entering into a, a almost a mentality of complaining about what the challenges were and I didn't even mean to do that unthankfulness is tricky it can it can you yeah. it's a slippery slope it's it's that rudiment of the flesh it just kind of can naturally accidentally happen and you feel justified because yeah. you're trying to do the work of god yeah and so but but here's the deal serve the lord with gladness gladness and so i i felt this and i, I was reading an article and and i came across this article and it was about a 59 year old man who needed a heart transplant and he was flying from Alaska to Seattle, and he had like an eight-hour window before uh, the heart would no longer be viable. And so he's flying from Alaska. It was about a four and a half hour flight, and he had to get there, and they had to they had to get into this procedure quickly. Time was of the essence, and horrible weather broke out in Seattle, and he had to land the plane in Anchorage, and he missed the window for the heart transplant. And he was devastated, as you can imagine. And as I'm reading it, I am, I am, I'm devastated for him. And I just, I felt, I felt like the Lord impressed upon me that I had, I really have nothing to complain about. There are people who have struggles I can't even begin to fathom, and I'm complaining about the challenges associated with 
great blessings that are being manifest mm-hmm. in our lives. And I, and I felt convicted, and I realized, oh, my goodness, I have allowed myself to become ungrateful. And I, I, I went to service that night. It happened to be New Year's Eve, and Brother Luami Diaz was preaching for us, great preacher of the gospel. And he preached a great message about the treasure we have in these earthen vessels. And, and, and the Spirit of the Lord just so moved upon my heart. I went to the altar, and, and I began to pour my heart out to God. And I really was saying, God, forgive me for, for just getting my eye off of how many blessings you've given and instead focusing on these challenges. And the Lord revealed something to me. He revealed to me that the enemy was trying to lure me into having an unthankful spirit. And that that snare of unthankfulness would have become an unnecessary obstruction to the blessings of God in my life. Mm. And, and, and if, if that's you today, if you're finding yourself having a lot to complain about and sure. a lot to, 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 to murmur about, just know, hey, the enemy's trying to lure you into a place of unthankfulness. Resist that. Resist that. Don't let that happen. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. And the blessings will multiply. Yeah. Like the loaves and like the fish, they will multiply and they will feed multitudes multiplying blessings feeds multitudes of people and and this is what you can look forward to when you begin to give thanks so no it's it's not just the fourth thursday no. of november but you know what sit down at that table on thursday and be with the people that that god has surrounded you with loved ones and family and friends and thank god for every person who's alive right now. And thank God for the memories you share and the memories you're going to make. We don't know what tomorrow holds. Be thankful for this moment. Be thankful for everything you have. Be thankful that God is good. Yeah. Be thankful that God is good. He's all powerful and he's he's all loving. Yeah. What 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 a powerful combination of virtue that mm-hmm. is. That he loves with an everlasting love and he has all power in heaven and in earth. We have a lot to be thankful for. Yeah. He's been too good. Yes. And if 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 you are sitting there today and like Pastor said, you're you're finding yourself maybe in that spot of, oh my goodness, I am sliding down the slope of ungratefulness. Well then praise God for the spiritual awareness. Yes. To now be able to pull it, it, what, what you said there, you you realized it. That's a while yeah. of the devil. Yes. It's a strategy of the devil. That's right. We don't want to be ignorant of his devices. Exactly. Right? And so when you when you feel that check, thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord, yes. for that check. Thank you for pulling me out of that pit. I don't want to be ignorant of what the enemy is trying to do. That's right. And 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 when you feel that attack, you're yes. like, okay. Exactly. We're on the right track. Exactly. And we're not going to get derailed here. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Thank you, Lord. You know, I it, it's so true. And and I said, count your blessings, name them one by one. That's kind of what the elders used to say. Yeah. And they, they, James said it like this. He said, count it all joy. Even when you fall into diverse temptations, even when there's issues that you're facing, count it all joy. Be thankful for your family. Be thankful for your family and uh, be thankful for your spouse. Be thankful for your children. Be thankful for your grandchildren. Be thankful for your parents. Be thankful for your grandparents. Be thankful for your friends. Be thankful for your church. Be thankful for the truth. Mm-hmm. Be thankful. Count it all joy. All things work together for the good. And uh, it's going to be a great Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. I pray the blessing of the Lord upon each of you and your families. And I hope that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving and that you take the opportunity to just give God praise today and every day and in everything. Yeah, we give thanks. It's such a healthy exercise to sit down and and name them one by one. Mm -hmm. And then that, once you get started, 
kind of like Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just eat one and stop, right? Yes. You just, you, you thank you, Lord, for this. Thank you, yes. Lord, for this. And before you know, before oh. you know, you're 45 minutes deep into. Absolutely. And, in, and in prayer, you know, there's so many levels of prayer. Uh, there's, there's Thanksgiving, there's repentance, there's, there's praise, there's worship, there's uh, supplication, there's intercessory prayer. Um, but I, I many times I'll get into Thanksgiving and I don't want to like get out of yeah, I'm it. Not, I'm not ready to move on yet. I just want to yeah. stay here for a moment and just give God thanks. And it's a beautiful experience. Yeah. Amen. We, we're thankful for all of our Fruitful Vine listeners and watchers oh, and viewers yes. and, and those of you who've tuned in and commented and reached out and, um, just let us know that we're being a blessing or being an inspiration. Um, I talk, met somebody last week who was talking about starting a podcast for their church. Do we have any tips? And I'm like, yeah, do it, you know, do it. Do it. So yes, we're just so thankful for, for the community that has surrounded us and, and hopefully we're surrounding as well. Uh, I pray God's blessings over your Thanksgiving meal this yes. Thursday. I think there might have to be a can of Pringles at my, at my <laughs> Thanksgiving uh, meal this Thursday, but we love you. We're so thankful Amen. for you. We pray God's blessings over you today in Jesus name.